So physics is a science that is really based on measurements of physical quantities in the world around us. In order to communicate these measurements, we need to have systems of units or standard amounts of certain quantities that we can compare all our measurements to. And three of the fundamental um, quantities that we need to measure are length, mass, and time. There are more that we'll need later on, but these three are uh, our starting point that will get us really far in physics six. So how do we define a unit of length? Um, the unit we use is called a meter, and a meter was originally defined as one ten millionth of the distance from the Earth's equator to the Earth's North Pole. So if you took this distance and divided by 10 million, that was the original definition of a meter. Um, you can imagine that that's pretty hard to uh, measure consistently. No one really has a measuring tape that stretches from the equator to the North Pole, um, much less is it easy to divide that measuring tape into 10 million pieces. So now we have a definition that is uh, much um, more reliable. A meter is now defined as the distance traveled by light in one over 2997924586 uh, seconds. This also serves as a definition for the speed of light, by the way. The speed of light is 2997924586 meters per second. The reason why we can define this now is because we have atomic clocks. And atomic clocks uh, are a really precise way of measuring time. And we'll see in our definition for time in just, in just a second how we can use this to define a second. The standard for mass is surprisingly weird. Uh, there's not really any convenient way to define mass other than saying here is one specific object this object is a kilogram there's a lab in France where there's a, a metal bar made out of platinum and iridium this bar is defined as a kilogram all other kilograms are defined in terms of that bar you got a weigh your kilogram next to that one, uh, that's how you know it's a kilogram. There's not really any other convenient way of defining a kilogram, because maybe you could, conceivably you could imagine that a kilogram is a certain number of atoms, like maybe a certain number of carbon atoms, but in practice, to count that number of carbon atoms would be impossible. Uh, that would be you know, many moles of carbon atoms, and that is, uh, that's a task that, that's not practical. So this is our definition of kilogram uh, for now, until people can figure out something better. That means if someone steals this kilogram, we don't know what a kilogram is anymore. Uh, lastly, the unit of time is seconds. Second was originally defined as a day divided by 24 hours divided by 60 minutes divided by 60 seconds um, and now we can do it more precisely uh, because the, the definition of a day is a little bit fuzzy so now that we have atomic clocks we can say a second is precisely this many oscillations of a cesium-133 atom in an atomic clock now when we uh, communicate quantities, a lot of times we have to deal with things that are much bigger or smaller than a meter, much bigger or smaller than a kilogram, much bigger or smaller than a second. And it's convenient to use scientific notation or scientific prefixes. And you've probably seen this stuff before. Uh, your textbook has a, a table of all sorts of prefixes they're kind of fun to use. Uh, I, you don't have to memorize them. But I'll just write a few of these down. 
so you can see how they're used. Uh, for example, one kilometer or kilometer is 1,000 meters, 10 to the third meters. Uh, one milligram is one one thousandth of a gram or one one millionth of a kilogram. I should remind you that the gram is not the fundamental unit in our system of units here. Kilogram is the fundamental unit because uh, that, that object in France is a kilogram, not a gram. Um, and let's say nanosecond. Maybe you've heard the term nano before. That means one billionth or ten to the minus nine seconds. So there's lots of prefixes like this. Uh, you can look them up. You don't have to memorize them. I'll use them occasionally. I'm sure by the end of uh, this class you'll get used to uh, at least a few of them.